Courtney, and I love all kinds of adventures. This weekend's adventure is a solo camping trip at Abrams Creek Campground. Tomorrow I'll be doing a long hike to Abrams Falls and Cades Cove, and the next day I'll be visiting Tuckalichi Caverns. So this is the view from my tent. So this will be my first night testing out my new climate sleeping pad. My other one was an REI, I think it was called a camp bed or something. It worked alright, I really like that it was self-inflating, but it was pretty bulky and I'm looking to do some more backcountry adventures this year. So hopefully this one works out pretty well. My only complaint so far is that it seems to be noisy as you move on it. Well that's interesting how my Oh, no, it's not going to do it. My phone. So that's an accurate color, and then you throw some blue in. My phone decides it needs to be super orange. But the blue actually looks correct. What if I stick my hand in? Okay, the blue's correct, but the orange is very orange. So this is my first and likely only hike slash run of this camping trip. I was supposed to do a short one when I got here yesterday afternoon, but I drove to the trailhead, but I could see like where the trail met the road and there was no parking whatsoever. So I came back and I tried to find another shortish route from the campground, but I couldn't really find one that wouldn't like double back on what I'm doing today. today is gonna be about 20 miles, so I'm definitely not gonna run the whole thing. It'll be a run and a hike. But I'm going to see Abrams Falls, and it's the entire reason I'm camping this weekend. So 
now that I'm less than a mile from the campsite, I feel comfortable saying this. I thought multiple times today it was gonna rain. Like, you know how it just like gets colder and windy and you just know it's gonna rain? I felt like that a few times. But I'm super thankful it's held off so far. It'd be really nice if it held off for the rest of the day so I could like just chill out in my hammock next to the creek. But very thankful that held off for the hike. So since it's four, I'd say it's at least time for lunch. Granted, I didn't put a few snacks on the trail. But I'm gonna have a peanut butter, jelly, and banana tortilla. I don't know if this is considered lunch or if this is just first dinner. Granted, I don't think it's first dinner. I think it's first breakfast, second breakfast. Eleven Z's, lunch and supper and dinner, maybe. I guess I would make this supper. Maybe this is lunch and and very messy. So I've always made mac and cheese like on the stove before. As long as I got the fire going, might as well make it over the fire now. The fire looked much better before I went and got food. So I was impatient and decided to switch to the stove. But now my fire is probably going to go out because I'm busy paying attention to my mac and cheese so it doesn't overboil. So the verdict on the climate pad is it made noise every time I tossed and turned during the night. There's like a meme going around somewhere on the internet, it's like, some people sleep on their sides, some people sleep on their back. I sleep like a rotisserie chicken. That's me. I turn constantly during the night. I wouldn't mind the noise so much if, I, if it was just me around, but with camping with neighbors so close. I feel like they heard it every time, which I just kind of felt like it would be annoying for them. Also, I think I should have inflated it a little bit more. Like, it felt okay if I was on my back, but if I was on my side, like my hip and shoulder would dig through. I'm gonna do a bit more testing on my next trip to see if I can get it a bit more comfortable. 
I forgot I had another piece of new gear I was testing out this trip to. I'll put the exact name on the screen, but this is a cocoon pillow. It folds up super small, which is why I got it, but it's pretty comfy. I like this one side is a, like a sleeping bag material, and this other side's soft, but it actually fits right inside this pillow pocket of my Nemo sleeping bag. You can't put it in fully inflated, but you can slide it in and then inflate it. I think this is another thing, I should have inflated it a little bit more. But that's part of new gear, testing it out and seeing what works. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to be always adventuring.